Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you an updated version on how to use webhooks for Roblox, but using a proxy server this time, so they will actually work in the real game and not just studio. If you watched my previous upload, I explained what happened to Discord webhooks and why they didn't work. It was because Discord blocked um, requests from Roblox for uh, people, you know, spamming them and stuff. But you can get past that by using a proxy server. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So in that previous video, I left a link to a dev forum post, which left a link to this GitHub repository right here, which shows you exactly how to use proxy servers. Um, I also created a module, or not a module, a model that you guys can insert webhook service proxy it'll give you these two module scripts and you want to put them in server script service do not put them anywhere else so the first step what you want to do is go to this github repository i'll put the link in the description scroll down here and if you haven't already you want to create a heroku account and then after you do that come back here and click deploy to heroku and then go here and you want to name the app so I'll name it proxy service with two E's because one E probably won't work. Yeah. Um, and do not change anything down here. Just, you know, select the name and yeah, click deploy app and let this run and it should run no errors. But after that is ran, it should say your app was successfully deployed. You want to go ahead and click view and it should take you here. You wanna copy this link right here, proxyservice.herokuapp.com, and then go into the webhook service module, and where it says paste domain here, put that there. And then now you wanna go ahead and click manage app. You wanna to go to settings, scroll down to reveal config vars, and then where it says access key, you wanna copy this entire access key right here and then paste it where it says paste access key here. Now to use this webhook service module, uh, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is put a server script and you gotta go ahead and require it. So service equals require game server script service uh, webhook service. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and send a simple message. So I'll do a book service, create message. And we need a, um, a web hook, obviously. So when you go to server, you want to go, uh, to the server you own or anything you have permissions in, go to server settings, go to integrations, web hooks, and then create a web hook like that. And then you can copy the link. I already have one created right here. I'll just copy that and create another variable equals and then the webhook link so we first want to pass the webhook url and then the message so test message and now once we go ahead and click play it should go ahead and send it right here yep spidey bot test message now like before i showed you it only worked in studio but now if i publish this to roblox and then go ahead and open the place, um, it should work. All right, so I'm in the actual game now, and you can see it's sent right here, SpideyBot test message. Um, and open the server, there's no errors at all. Uh, so yeah, the proxy service way, which is the way I just showed you, is the completely fixed way, um, cannot be blocked. Uh, so if you have any problems with my past videos, just go ahead and follow this tutorial, but do the exact same thing in that video, and it should be working perfectly fine for you. And one more thing I forgot to mention is that since using Heroku, using the free version, every month you run out of dino hours, so you won't be able to use the proxy service, but you can create another account doing the same thing, uh, and then use that for the month, and then after that month over, you can switch back. And also, do not log stuff that happens often such as like a player joining the game or you know something being bought or something like that 
uh, yeah.